Hey there and welcome to another web design tutorial from designem.co.uk, the company that can produce you websites in two days and e-commerce solutions in seven days. Today we're basically going to be talking about how to create your own um, kind of uh, customised FLV player for free. Um, this basically means you can embed videos in your website, like this one, um, without having to use YouTube. Do you want a more? So you, without having to use YouTube or anything like that. There's one example and the other example is here. You can see there's no borders on either of these photos. And just a couple of examples. Okay. Um, and the way you do that is basically essentially you, you've got your web design hosting. Okay, your web hosting and your web domain name. If you don't have one of those, you'll need one of those to get your website online. Um, and to get one, the cheapest place you can get it is on designem.co.uk. If you go to designem.co.uk forward slash YouTube one. Now I promise you this is the cheapest place on the internet you'll be able to find a domain name and hosting package because I know I priced it that way on purpose. Okay, if you don't have hosting, you just come down here. It's a simple form. You just fill in. You just click no here. And if you don't want us to design your website for you, choose the domain name and then click submit and it will take you through. Okay. The... Uh, the next step you need is basically you need to upload your video onto your server. So the way I've done this is with a program called FileZilla, which if I minimise it you'll just be able to see. So it's FileZilla, okay? And I basically have dragged my FLV file. This pane here is my hosted space. If you want to see how to um, upload and download kind of files to and from your website server, then I've got another video for that coming, so just uh, have a little look. Um, but at the moment, you can see that it's already on my server under main.flv. Okay, your video will be called anything. Your video will be called um, uh, holiday video.flv or um, promotional video.flv, but mine's called main.flv. Okay, and um, I therefore need to come to a website now. Now, this is where you start generating the um, player okay so you go to a website and it's called flvplayer.net okay and you just come down here and there's lots of different um, types of players mini is the one that I've chosen to use um, because it just looks like this it's quite simple um, but normal is the um, is the one with the most options that you've got a lot more to um, kind of customize than that and I just thought I'd quickly say now is the uh, while I click generator here is the reason I decided to make this video is it took me so long to find a free, decent, simple to use, simple to set up FLV player setup. And um, there's flow player and things like that. They're quite difficult to set up. Whereas this is very very simple and very very easy. Um, so I thought I'd make a video on it. Okay. So you see the first um, the first what's it field here is called FLV and this is basically the name of your file so my one is www.designum.co.uk now that's my website that's where the hosted space is, is linking to okay so if I go to that it'll take me to my website and then you click forward slash and type in the name of your video okay and that's providing that your um, your FLV video file isn't in any folders within your hosted space. What do I mean by that? I mean, if you have a look at my hosted space here, there's all these files. Okay, say I put it in the CSS file, I'd then have to type in forward slash CSS, CSS rather, in front of this, but just because it's just in the hosted space and not kind of into any further files than that, it's just in the space, you don't need to worry about that. Okay. Um, this, just to explain that a little bit further, if I type this in on the internet, click to a new tab and paste it in, you'll see it will come up with the video, okay? So that's the place you need to find, that's basically it directs this player to your video, okay? The title, I'm going to call it promotional video, you can call it anything you want, promotional video, or you can just leave it blank, I've left it blank in all my other videos, okay? There we are. And start image you don't need. Now this is basically the width of your um, and the height of your video. So say it's a really wide video and I don't want there to be any border around it on either side, and it's 500 
uh, pixels wide. This isn't measured in pixel, pixel. So it's 500 pixels wide. There we are. You see, it's a widescreen thing now. But that video, I'm just going to assume it's 320 and 240, and there we are. Now you see these things down here. You want to leave all these. Okay, you just want to leave them. Um, and I would advise you to leave these as well, just because 320 by 240 is the standard um, standard measurement. Um, but if you want, if your video is a different size, that's when you touch this. Okay, so most people wouldn't touch it. These I wouldn't touch either, apart from the one that says auto load. I've changed that from zero to one. Basically, what that does, it starts to load your video as soon as um, it's up there. As soon as people go to the website, and that stops it, stops people having to buffer, and then to watch your video. And I think that's very recommended. Okay. Now you see where it says category. You'll click on that and click border. Now at the moment, it's got a curved border. You see curved edges there, um, and that is because the background color is set to white. You see. What I would recommend you do is you choose a color that you want the border to be. So I want it to be this color blue. Okay, and then what I would do is I'd set the next all three of these to that color blue. See, and that provides you with this border, and that stops you having to worry about what color your website is always going to be underneath this video. Um, which I don't, I don't know if that's quite difficult to understand. It basically means that if your website isn't white, you'd see a little white bit around the corner. Um, before the curved bit if you don't set them all to the same colour. So I just think setting them all to the same colour is the best thing to do. Um, but by all means have a play around. Next you click player bar. Now the player colour is 000 which is black which is this bar across here. So if you want to change that colour, there you are, it's pink now. Um, but I want it, I'm just going to keep it black just to keep things simple. And then the loading colour which I don't like at the moment is yellow. Uh, which I'm not sure if you saw. No, it's not showing. Um, basically, it loads along here when, as the video is loading. So I want that to be blue. I'll keep it the colour of the border, which is 1FFFFF. I think. There we are. And the button over colour, which is what happens when you hover the button, you see, it does the same. So basically, as you hover over that, oh, oh no, this button, see, there we are, change it to that, and slider over colour, I'm going to do the same. So now the slider colour, the button colour, the border and the loading colour are all the same. Okay, now slider colour 1 is basically, can you see the top of there, without me hovering over it, the top of there is lighter than the bottom colour. The colour 1 is the top. And the uh, bottom colour is the uh, two. Um, so basically, that's it. Now, this is the bit where it starts to get customised. If you want to show the time of the video, you select Show Time to One. Okay, that's how long you've it's played for. If you want to show volume, you change it to two. And if you want to show the stop button, you change it to three. Uh, not ignore everything I've just said. Change them all to one if you want each of them. So show stop, change it to one. Show volume, change it to one. Show time, show it to one, and that will show these. Okay. If you don't want them shown, it's just zero, respectively. Okay. The next thing we're going to have a little look at is miscellaneous here. Now, this doesn't really have um, much to do. If I was you, I'd just leave these. There's not really to, much to learn here, uh, much to alter there. So I'd just leave it. And that's pretty much it. That's your player now, kind of manipulated, edited. Um, one thing I think I missed out is you see it says margin here in the border um, drop down and the margin will basically alter the size of your border so if I want this border to be 10 pixels wide you see how fat that is now it's 10 pixels if I want it to be 1 pixel there it's really small 1 pixel or even 0 pixels there we are no border at all say I want it to be 5 just for the sake of argument Okay, and if you come down here, you've got an HTML code. Now this is the important bit. What you need to do is copy all of this and control C it to copy it. Okay. And then in an HTML page, which I've just opened Dreamweaver now. So Adobe Dreamweaver, 
you need to paste in that code on your website, anywhere on your website. So you say, I just want it to be there. Imagining I've got other writing there, but you can just paste it in anywhere on your website. And you see here, it comes up with an AX. Um, in, in Dreamweaver CS3, it might be different in different versions. Okay, so I'm now going to save this web page as uh, YouTube video example just to show you what it looks like and then you click save and you'll save it to the desktop okay and then you if I just show you the video and show what it looks like there you go up it comes it's on the web page you can put it anywhere on your web page do you want a more successful business there we are and that's it that's all you need to know Design M at fastandaffordable.co.uk There we are. I hope that's been helpful. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to go to www.designem.co.uk for all your um, web design needs. And if you need hosting and domain names, just go to www.designem.co.uk forward slash youtube1.html.